Okay, guys. Oh, every time I do this, I sit in this corner, I bump my elbow on this. Okay, I'm back. I'm back for kind of a serious sort of chat. I mean, it's not super serious, but it's just something that I wonder about other folks, other collectors out there that um, may experience the same thing that I'm experiencing um, or have experienced. I know we all go through periods of time, and I'm sorry, I'm not even holding Monroe. She's actually in um, her stroller right over there. But um, because this is a bit more of a serious topic, I thought, okay, let's just, I'll just come on and it'll just be me. Um, but title of this, do your personal issues slash problems, do they affect how you feel about your collecting? Does it affect your hobby? Does it, does it, um, does it take away from your hobby if you're dealing with things? Okay, that, I guess that's, that's a better way to put it. Um, so ultimately, uh, we, we all have ebbs and flows of how we navigate through um, the reborn hobby. And a lot of times uh, we deal with ups and downs in our personal life that I have found that totally have affected um, uh, how I feel about the hobby at times. And it's not because it directly affects it or things happen directly to affect the hobby. It's just because I feel like I'm pulled away from the enjoyment of the hobby because I'm stressed about something else. So I, I'm curious to know if that's something that everybody experiences because I feel like everybody would experience that to some degree. Um, recently, like I've had a lot of uh, job changes that have affected how I feel about the hobby or the time that I have to spend in the hobby tremendously. It's one of those things where I really had a hard time finding you know, niches of time when I actually had the energy to want to have anything to do with the hobby, um, if that makes sense. So like I, I've been, you know, overwhelmed with a, a huge amount of workload that I wouldn't normally have because I'm transitioning to a new job and I also have to train my replacement and I'm still doing my previous job. Like there's just so many layers to it that I could have never dreamt would have taken up the amount of time that it does. So my hours of working have changed because of that fact. And so by the time my day is done, I feel drained. I feel mentally drained and getting myself through this transition, which it's been since May. Yeah, since May, the, this all kind of started, the transition started. Very excited about it. It's a great opportunity. I'm thoroughly happy to be doing it, but it, it has taken away, it's detracted from my enjoyment in the hobby because I'm so tired at the end of the day and at the end of the week, it, it's a lot mentally and I just feel like my brain is mush a lot of the times by the time I get done that I have no, I have nothing left to give towards the hobby or to put out for you guys as content. So I was just wondering if anybody else experiences that because I feel like it would be a normal thing when we have our ups and downs in life, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, it doesn't really matter. It's just something that affects you that may take you away from the enjoyment of the hobby. So I'm one of these people that the hobby is like this really sacred, happy place for me. Everything I like to associate with the hobby really is happiness, right? Um, so when something negative happens, I pull away from it. Like when I was doing the whole chargeback situation, I was so upset about that, that I, I really just pulled away from the hobby altogether, even though it's not the hobby's fault, but it is something that affected me within the hobby that made it feel less than happy for me. <laughs> and I have found that it doesn't have to be a negative experience, but it could be just life changes that um, tend to pull me away at times and I don't have the energy or the oomph for the hobby and I think that's where you see me less and it's not because I lose my love for the hobby it really is because I'm just you know so much of me is pulled elsewhere and I wonder if other collectors struggle with that even if you don't put up like YouTube content um, or even post a lot on social media does it affect you when you have personal things happening in your life I'm curious to know if it, it does happen with everybody else. I know my friends, certain friends it seems to, and certain friends it doesn't. So I'm really curious to see how does it affect um, the hobby, your personal things that could be happening. It could be good, bad, just things in your in the real world because YouTube is it's a platform. It's a social media platform. We love to come on and share, but 
it's not real life. And we talk about this a lot when we talk about, you know, how much time you spend and be having it be a healthy amount of time on social media. For me, I have a very full life. Um, my, my daughters have now moved out, so I don't have them under my roof any longer, but they're still in need of me, <laughs> you know, if that makes sense, because they're in their 20s. Um, so I like to be available for them and spend time with them. Um, and then I have my job that's very full, and I have a partner that's, you know, I have a very full life, and I have three dogs, two of which are very elderly, they're 15 years old, that require a lot of my care. So it's like, I have all these things in my real life outside of just this hobby. So you see just a little fraction of me when I share a video, but the rest of my life is very, very full, like in, in person life. So I don't spend a whole lot of time on social media. I just don't have the time to do that. Um, so the, the very small amounts of time that I do have that I want to dedicate to, you know, Monroe and sharing her with you guys, it's, they're just, it's such a small amount of time that I have. It's so hard because I, I wish I had more time to spend, you know, doing Dolly things, you know, it's just, I think I'm in a phase of my life where I really have to pick and choose and really realize that, you know, my time is pretty precious and I want to utilize it and make sure I'm, I'm making fun times of it. So when I come on here, I like to give a hundred percent to you guys because I think you deserve that. Um, you take your time out of your busy days and you come and you, you watch my videos and I, I just want you to know how much I appreciate that. But I also would love your feedback. Um, does this stuff sort of take away, like when you have personal things going on or something new and big is, is happening in your life, do you find that um, you spend less time doing Dolly related things? Like I'm, I'm just curious if, if you actually have noticed that before or maybe you're newer to collecting and you haven't gotten that far where you're just so gung ho for it and so excited for like anything Dolly related that you make a lot of time for. I'd love to hear about it. And yes, indeed, I'm gonna be doing a live stream. I haven't planned which day I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna to talk to a couple of friends of mine um, and just kind of see what kind of works for them because I'd like to get you know as many of my friends and you know Dolly friends involved because the more people that attend it, the more fun it'll be so we can chat and hang out. So um, stay tuned for that information. But I'm just curious, this is just something that's been on my mind. And I know I've talked about my busyness with work and things like that, but I kind of just wanted to elaborate a little bit more that, you know, life events just definitely affect me. It definitely affects how I go about navigating the time I spend in the hobby or making videos or having, you know, it takes away the urge to want to make videos and do dolly related things, things like that. So I just want to kind of share that just thoughts on my mind. And so anyways, happy Sunday. I'm going to post this video and um, I have some family coming over to do a barbecue, even though it's still raining here. <laughs> Not the most rain ever. Like this year has been the rainiest, craziest year, but you know, it is what it is, I suppose. But anyways, guys, if you stuck around for this full eight and a half minutes of me rambling about my thoughts on this, thank you. I always appreciate those that stick around and then comment at the end. Um, so thank you as always, and we will see you all soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.